so as we mentioned, the final gathering accuracy and radius really go hand in hand. Uh, the image on the left, we've got a large radius and a low accuracy. Because the radius is so large um, and the environment isn't complicated, we end up getting a smooth effect and a general indirect illumination look. Um, because we're not sampling the environment very often for final gathering. The image on the right, on the other hand, we have a very small radius. So we're resolving a lot of the indirect illumination detail, but because the accuracy is so small, um, we're getting a lot of noise and sampling problems. So we need to boost the accuracy with a small radius to get an accurate indirect illumination picture. So again, to summarize, high accuracy, it takes quite a bit longer to render and it requires a smaller final gathering radius to actually pay off and get uh, good quality results. Lower accuracy, it's fast to render and it works best with large final gathering radiuses. So you can get a blurry indirect illumination kind of effect and it renders quickly but it's not as accurate as you might want.